It's got a few parts to it. I started off, well, I moved to, to Santiago about seven years ago, and then I was sitting on my couch, about six years ago, I was sitting on my couch, and I get a little Facebook message. It says, uh, from this girl in Iowa, that says, I know your cousin, and there's something that you need to know. And I'm thinking, that's weird. What, how's this girl in Iowa know my cousin? Because my cousin's locked up in Michigan. And so I asked her, I'm like, what's going on? You know, and she says, well, he's been arrested and he's been using your name when he gets arrested. And I'm like, wait, he's, he's getting arrested, like detained and going to jail and using my name? I'm here. <laughs> and I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, if I fly back to, fly back to the United States, what if there's a warrant out, my, out for my arrest or something? You know, and my name is like, he's getting detained and he's getting released he's been arrested like three different times and stuff so anyways i already had a, a flight book back to the united states so i go back and i'm like well, we're gonna we're gonna do a little investigation find out what's going on well anyways i i messaged a girl messaged a girl and she um i asked her i was like well what, what was he getting arrested for and she says i don't know he broke we broke up or whatever and, and then she just cut off all communication so i had no idea what was going on what you've been getting arrested for. And so so I, I flew back to, to Las Vegas and spent a few nights there. And then my plan was to drive up to, to Colorado. And then from Colorado, we're going to pass through Iowa. My sister lives in Colorado, Colorado so we were going to go up there. And I was going to go up there and, and party with her and stuff for her birthday before we drove through Iowa back to Michigan. Well, Las Vegas to Colorado is about a 12 to 14 hour drive and I didn't want to drive alone so I put an ad on Craigslist and, uh, and it was only about 48 hours before I was leaving and I was thinking I was like well the odds the odds of somebody actually responding to my ad was pretty slim but within 10 minutes somebody responded and was like yeah I want I need to go to Colorado I need to get to Denver and I'm on your timeline and I was like all right that's perfect and so um, she is a woman and she's like, well, I just only have one stipulation, you know, uh, let's be friends on Facebook and so you can see that I'm not a psycho and you're not a psycho, you know, it is a <laughs> Craigslist <laughs> connection, so, <laughs> so, uh, so I look at her profile and she looks like, like she's like 25, 28 years old, she's in the theater, acting classes and stuff, and, and I was like, okay, I don't know, get me to that, so I was like, all right, Let's go, and so I, she gave me her address, and so I go to her, I go to the house, and I'm sitting in front of the house, and I'm like, this is crazy, I'm like, there's no lights on, like, there's there's no porch light on, there's no car in the driveway, I'm like, why, why'd she tell me to go here, and so I'm standing in front of the house, or sitting in front of the house in my car, and I look down the road, and there's this woman walking towards me, she's got her luggage and stuff, and, and I was like, oh, maybe that's her, maybe she just gave me the wrong address, and uh, she gets in the car, and, and um, and she's and I asked her, I was like, I, I think you gave me the wrong address with her, just joking around. She's like, no, I just, I didn't want, like, the car door, when the car door shut, to wake up my father. My father's got to work early in the morning and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I like to sleep with, you know, when I got to work and stuff, so I didn't think nothing of it. And so we start driving. And now, if you look at a map, you've got to go through uh, a little sliver of Arizona before you get into Utah, and then you go from Utah into Colorado. So it doesn't take long to pass through um, the state border from Nevada into Arizona. In Arizona, you're in, you're literally in Arizona for like 15 minutes before you enter Utah. And so we're, now we're in Utah, and I start, we start getting into conversation a little bit, and, I'm, and she says, um, "Yeah, I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready to graduate. And I'm getting ready to graduate early." And I was like, "Oh, that's cool. What, what are you getting your degree in?" And she laughs, she says, no, I'm getting ready to graduate high school. And I was like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I, and like, I'm really good at math. And I figured out, I was like, so you're not 18. <laughs> I was like, I looked at her, I'm like old enough to be her father. And so I look, and I stop, I pull the car over. I stop the car and I'm like, I like get out of the car and so we talk and I'm like, I'm freaking out, I'm like shaking. And I'm like, you know, you realize, like, you got in a car with a complete stranger, you're, oh, no, so I asked her, I was like, so you're 17, right? And she says, 
yeah, well, almost. And I'm like, wait, so you're 16? <laughs> I'm like thinking, well, maybe you're like 17 going on 18. No, she's 16 going on 17. And that was why she was going up to Denver was to go to a music festival with her with her brother. And I'm just like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, we already crossed two state lines. And I don't know if you know the laws in the United States, but if you're pick up a minor on Craigslist and traffic that minor across state lines, that's a couple of felonies. <laughs> so I'm freaking out. I'm, I stopped the car. I asked, you know, I asked her to get out. We're talking. And I'm like, you know, you, you, you could be in the car with a, a complete psychopath. There's only like 120 miles where there's no cell phone connection here in Utah. Like, you could be with anybody. And, and she's, <laughs> she looks at me. She says, well, you're the creeper that put the ad on Craigslist, you know? And I'm like, well, you got me there, you know? I was like, well, so I, I'm, standing in the, I'm standing there, and she gets back in the car, and she's like, are we going to Denver or not? And I'm like thinking, I'm like, it's only an hour and a half back to your house, and it's another, like, maybe 10 hours to Denver. But if I go back to Las Vegas, I got to cross two more state lines, <laughs> two more felonies. Colorado's only one more. <laughs> so... I completely committed to trafficking this minor to Denver. <laughs> and now I get to I get to I get to Denver and I'm freaking out. Like I'm thinking, oh my god, there's gonna be there's gonna be police waiting. And like and so we're driving through Utah and you know like every once in a while there's an overpass, they got the electronics billboards, it's like, oh Amber Alert with you know looking for a Hyundai accent with my, you know, license plate number or something, and every time we pass one, and, and I'm freaking out, like, oh my god, well, at least we got it a little bit further, and, and so we get to Denver, we get to Denver, and we, she wanted to meet her brother at the mall where her, her brother worked at, and as soon as we pull in the mall, it was like completely suspicious, she's like, oh, there's my brother, that's his truck, and so we pull up, and I didn't see anybody, I saw a truck, but I didn't see anybody standing there. And she gets out, she grabs her luggage, and I just peel out. I'm just like, Bruh! my little Hyundai accent, Bruh! you know. <laughs> so we get, I get out of there, and I'm like, I'm looking all over. There. I'm looking for police. I'm looking for helicopters. I'm looking for the freaking uh, what's that? She'll catch a predator, like jump out or whatever. And I'm like, I I pull out of the mall. I'm doing like evasive maneuvers, going right turn, right turn, right turn, left turn, left turn, left turn, making sure nobody's following me. I go straight to my sister's house. And I'm just like sweating. I'm like, you're not gonna believe what just happened. And you know, I explained the story to her. Well, anyways, nothing. I didn't get busted. <laughs> I was scared I was gonna get busted for this. But I still needed to go to Iowa to find out why my cousin was getting busted and using my name. So we get in the car and we start driving. We get to Iowa and uh, we go in to see my cousin. He's in the jail. We signed in and stuff, and uh, my cousin, he's excited. He's like so pumped. He's like, oh my God, you guys are here to get me out. Like he's like, you know, he's, he turns to his, like the other inmates, my cousin's here. He's like, I'm going home today. I'm going home, you know. He's like, he's like trying to tell everybody, you know, and I'm like, calm down, calm down, just sit down. Let's talk a little bit, you know, what's going on. And, uh, and he's like, he looks pretty good. Like he's shredded. He's all muscular and stuff. And But I look at his hand, and his hand's like, like cut like and it looked like his hand was like cut completely off and they sewed it back on and i'm like dude what what happened what'd you do and he's like i got in a fight with a guy with a sword and i'm like a guy with a sword what are you like time traveling like what's going on like you go back to like the 1500s like who gets in a fight with a guy with a sword and he's like i don't know i was fucked up i don't, I don't remember well anyways so we get talking a little bit more, and, and uh, he's like, so you guys are here to bail me out, right? And I was like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm here. I just came like 9,000 miles to look you dead in the eye, to ask you why the fuck you're using my name when you're getting arrested. I got no problem doing my own felonies. I committed three felonies on the way here. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, man, I'm sorry, you know. And he's like, no, I, I, won't, I won't do it again, I promise. And... Uh, and I, and I said to him, I was like, man, I was like, you're just like, you're just like fucking up all over the place. You know, what did you, what did, like, what did you, why are you in jail right now? What, 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 what crime did you commit and use my name? And he's like, well, I stole a car. I got on the highway going the wrong direction. 
And then I hit a truck that was full of fuel, like a natural gas truck or something. And I'm like, and you're alive? Like, how are you? Like, you didn't blow up? Like, what's going on? And they, no, luckily the truck didn't blow up or whatever. But he was like on a high speed chase down the highway in the wrong direction. And the police gave up. They were like, this is too dangerous. Like, and then, and then he, he got off the express man to hit a fucking fuel truck. And, like, and you gave my name? <laughs> Why'd you tell him? Oh, I, I'm Cody. <laughs> you know? And, uh, but uh, anyways, he says again, he's like, so can, can you loan me the 10000 to bail me out? Like $10,000? Like, no, I don't have 10000 He's like, but you realize if you don't loan me the 10000 I can't go home with you today. I'm like, you ain't fucking going home with me, dude. You're sitting in jail. I, I, like I said, I just came here to ask you, why the fuck are you using my name when you're out here getting busted? But, but that's my story. Thanks, guys.